The first of our very geographic terms that are also medical terms is endemic. Endemic means it's maintained or it's constant, always there within a small geographic area or within a specific group of the population. Examples of specific groups. Who's most likely to get chicken pox? Kids. If you grow up in the United States, you know there's a good chance you're going to get chicken pox sometime during your elementary years. African Americans very commonly get sickle cell anemia, so a specific group of the population that we find an endemic disease, sickle cell anemia in African Americans. In terms of more geographic areas, we find cholera, malaria, and yellow fever in specific geographic areas. And here we once again have our proportional symbol maps, this time death from vitamin A deficiency. You can see overwhelmingly that's Africa and South Asia, in which you see people dying from vitamin A deficiency. And so that is something that's endemic to definitely that part of the world. You see the whole western part of the world, uh, in terms of the western, uh, western hemisphere, South America, North America. We can see Western Europe and Eastern Europe, nothing much, much of Asia, not on there, but we can see it's definitely endemic to Africa. A map of cholera outbreaks also shows its location, and so we can say it's on a few different continents, uh, but pretty much there in tropical areas, and so it definitely we could say tropical areas, uh, areas along the equator, also areas with a little bit lower income, so of course this is going to relate to the previous video on the epidemiologic transition, uh, but we see cholera is endemic to specific geographic areas. And even more so we can see that with malaria. Malaria, key to that is mosquitoes uh, are the key to transferring the virus from uh, parasite to host. And so mosquitoes, where do we find them in large numbers? We find them wherever the summer is, of course, because mosquitoes like hot, muggy uh, 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 areas. Uh, so where is it summer year-round? Uh, there in uh, the tropics, so there along the equator. And so for sure there uh, in Central Africa, we can see much higher rates of malaria than other parts of the world. And so, of course, this relates to more than just location. Uh, more relates more than just the presence of mosquitoes. Of course, it also is a symbol of uh, of income. It's a symbol of you know just political dis, you know disarray and a mess uh, that you find also in a lot of these places. And yellow fever, another example of a, a mosquito infectious disease in which the mosquito is what uh, transfers it to the human. But doesn't mean that it's endemic. Means it's infectious. An endemic. Uh, uh, disease or illness we can also find uh, in terms of non-communicable diseases and so we look at the United States uh, the map on the left shows incidences of lung or bronchus cancer and so essentially what that means is lung cancer is what we really see there uh, and so we can see that it's endemic where we see that higher rates there kind of along the Ohio and Mississippi River and so Indiana Kentucky Tennessee uh, we see much darker blues, which illustrate higher rates of cancer. And so we could say that is endemic to that geographic area uh, from Indiana down to the Gulf. We look on the right-hand side in terms of skin cancer or melanomas of the skin. You can see a more northerly pattern, especially northern and more western, in terms of where you see higher rates. And so you could say it's also something that's constantly there, much higher rates over long periods of time. And so it's endemic to different geographic areas, in this case, uh, the North and Pacific Northwest. This map here shows the stroke belt. Uh, and of course, you know, most people snicker, yeah, there's a bunch of strokes down there in Kentucky, huh? Well, a different term of stroke. And this is in terms of stroke, the medical condition. Uh, so you have much higher rates of strokes here in the American South, Southeast Conference football uh, geographic region. Uh, so Kentucky, Arkansas, Tennessee, Georgia, Mississippi, northern Florida especially. When you look at Florida, they say the more northern you are in Florida, the more southern you are uh, because of its characteristics that are more like those neighboring states to the north. And so we can say that this is you know, a geographic area, and so stroke deaths, which is related to diets, uh, you know, related to just, uh, you know, just genetics, also related to physical activity. Uh, we see all of those characteristics much lower here in this particular area of the country, and so they have higher rates of strokes. So we see this geographic region in which strokes 
have a higher rate and thus are endemic to this geographic area. In taking the stroke thing more locally, uh, we can see Indiana especially more to the south. So definitely in Indiana, the more south you go, the more southern Indiana is, more like Kentucky, Tennessee in terms of demographics and so on. And we can see that also here in terms of higher rates of stroke deaths in rural Indiana, particularly rural southern Indiana. You can see in you know rural northern Indiana, there's still some you know higher rates. There's some darker purple counties in there. Uh, but you can see it's much more endemic to southern Indiana. Uh, so in case of Indiana, in most of the country, the more rural you are, the less healthy you are. Um, so a lot of that also relates to just the distance to hospitals, the distance to a doctor's office. You're just farther out. But it also relates to other factors, uh, no doubt about that, related to diet and physical activity and just overall demographics. But we can see, no doubt, that strokes are endemic to southern Indiana. All across the country, in our Native American reservations, you also see some endemic or much you know, more consistently higher rates of different diseases than you do with the average population. And so we can see, in particular, uh, deaths related to liver disease or alcoholism, so very high alcohol uh, uh, usage rates uh, in, on Native American reservations. Uh, so you look at the, you know, this, the overall life, lower income, much higher rates of poverty, much lower life expectancies. But in terms of certain things, in the case of liver diseases, very endemic to Native American reservations. For example, this one here in South Dakota uh, called Pine Ridge. In the case of the United States, something that's endemic here, which you find constantly, which we're number one in the world, which isn't always a good thing, and that's obesity. And so our average weight much higher here in the United States uh, than it is all across the world, in which the world average is about 140 pounds, uh, where the average U.S. American is somewhere there uh, in the 180s probably by now.